yes we are ready with our project integrated with python in python virtual environment now let's go ahead and take care of installing pandas and also validating it using uh, notebook environment we'll be using vs code notebook environment to validate to install pandas again we can launch the terminal uh, you can click on don't throw again so that it is not repeated again and again now you should be able to say pip install pandas it will take care of installing compatible pandas version uh, in this python virtual environment we have to wait until it is fully installed once it is fully installed then we can take it further you can see it have started installing it will just take few moments we have to wait until it is fully installed now pandas is successfully installed to ensure it is installed in right location we can exit from here then we can go to explorer then we can expand this we can go to lib and then we should be able to review the details here we are seeing pandas because it is successfully installed in this virtual environment when you validate us if you don't see pandas here after running pip install command feel free to reach out to us we'll be there to help you to ensure it is installed in right location when it comes to version of the pandas that is installed it is nothing but pandas 2.2.3 or 2.2.3 yeah we have reviewed uh, whether pandas is installed or not successfully now we should be able to collapse this uh, to validate what you can do is in the first line you can say import pandas as pd if there are no errors that means uh, pandas is integrated with the project and we should be able to use pandas going forward uh, we'll also take care of setting up notebook environment so that we can use notebooks to actually explore pandas for that purpose what we'll be doing is we'll be creating a new file here the name of the file is nothing but auto sales insights demos dot ipnb now let me hit enter we can add code cell here this is also supposed to be integrated with uh, our python which is there in uh, python virtual environment for that purpose we have to click on select kernel and then we have to click on python environments then we have to select this make sure to select this where it is from asa hyphen vnv which is nothing but our python virtual environment now let me click on this now we should be able to say print hello world then we should be able to run this using shift enter it will take care of running this and uh, you can see it is saying running cells with asa hyphen vnv python version requires the ipy kernel package uh, here you have to click on install to install ipy kernel package once it is installed it will also take care of running this successfully we have to wait until it is fully installed and then we will see whether the code snippet that is there as part of this code cell runs successfully or not you see it have not only installed ipy kernel it have even run this code cell you can confirm by looking at the outcome here now what we can do is we can replace this with import pandas as pd you can see there are no errors and also when we run this using shift enter it will run without any issues however this is not code which will actually show something on the screen hence you will not be seeing anything on the screen but it will be run successfully without any errors you can see that it have ran successfully the pandas is imported as alias pd this is how you can kickstart your project when it comes to using pandas in your project especially from the data analysis perspective we should be able to use this without any challenges to go through all the demonstrations related to the course